Hello guys, so today I'm going to Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to see what fun because they always have amazing discounts here. So I hope I can find a good one. Like maybe it looks like everything is like 50% off just by what I'm seeing. Um so hopefully I can find some good discounts. Now what I want to look for is a nice fabric. Maybe I can find some more gems because I love gems. Okay, so this actually looks really nice. But I don't want anything this big. I'm trying to look for something smaller, like a small roll like this. So maybe I can find something nice. A nice lace, maybe. Like this is very pretty. I can use that for so many projects. some nice pearls actually I love laces like this these are very pretty some nice pearls but I like stick on pearls so I'm gonna be getting those there's some nice oh, actually this is so cute because what I love about ribbons like this is that you can just cut them separately and have those for your projects so we have like you have a whole individual roll you have like all these individual little pieces so this is super cute i love this and there's some more gems here these are actually really pretty i don't have anything like this okay now this is actually so pretty i might get something like that but there's also other ones here like this i love the black the black backing to it so that's super cute but i don't know which one i want to get this one's so pretty though i'm obsessed with this i might get something like this it's actually not that bad, $2, so I thought it'd be more expensive. Okay, so all items labeled the Paper Studio is 50% off. I love the Paper Studio. They're one of my favorite brands here in um, Hobby Lobby. So maybe there's some cute things we can find. And the last stuff. I love these though. I wish this, but this is um Tim Holtz, I believe. Or, yeah, it is Tim Holtz. But maybe I couldn't find a new distress ink. What I need to find is um, some watercolors. I've been wanting to find some, so maybe something like this. Ooh, fifteen dollars. I mean, is is this the paper studio? It's not. Okay, so we're not getting that. So maybe the paper studio has um, watercolors. I just have to look out for them. I want to get some new floral um, things because these are so pretty. But like these are so nice. They're like nice and vintagey. And I don't think this is a paper studio. I think those are really nice. I like these a lot. Yeah, see, so pick up in the warehouse, please, yeah, see. So I'm in the clearance section and this is actually really cool. They have these stamps that are on sale for like 35 cents, 99 cents, I think that's what it says. But these nice big lettering stamps, so that's cool. Okay, now I'm in the section of the stickers. These are all paper studio, so they always have really nice sticker selection here. Oh, that's actually really nice. I like these little birds. A ton of bird stickers though. Um, they have some cute butterflies. Ah, these are pretty. Very nice. Those are cute. Just trying to find some cute. I'm trying to find some bigger stickers too because I'm trying a different. I'm using a new journal and I can, I'm kind of looking for bigger stickers. So. Let's see what they have. I 
I also want to look for some sticker books. So, they usually have the sticker books over here, and they're 50% off, so that's good. But normally I don't like the, the selection of sticker books that they have, but sure, they have tons of letters, so... No, I love this section, the gems, the pearls. I don't know why I love this section so much. I have a ton of pearls though, but you know. Maybe, actually I'm gonna get some new pearls because I'm running low on them. So they have like a big selection there, but I want the one that comes in like a packet. I don't know where it is. I'm not sure if they don't have them anymore, but. And they have some washi tapes here. I have these cool, like these are 50% off too, like $15. So, okay, so I found these. Oh, they have, this is the last one, but I loved this selection. So I'm gonna get that. They're 50% off, so. And I really like the little roosters. I don't know why I love those. I'm gonna take a pack of those because I really think that they're cute. Now I'm in the section of the, the papers and I like their loose papers. So I like to just select the ones that I like. Um, so I really like their vintage papers. If you don't have any tea dyed papers, you can always use these. I'm gonna do a video on tea dyeing paper. So, um, but if you, you don't have a way to tea dye, um, then you can just get these vintage looking papers here and they have a huge selection. So it's super fun to go through them and choose the ones that you like. Like I love the make music paper sheet ones. Oh, this is a pretty floral one here. It's really nice. This is one of my favorite papers that they have here. I can like cut them individually and do something really cool with this. So this is really pretty. Um, I really like the music notes. One, two. This floral one was really pretty too. for some black pens like a really thin one so I'm gonna be taking this 003 black pen and let me take two and I'm looking for watercolor so let's go that and I better hurry up and find it before I run out of storage <laughs> okay so assuming it'd be here Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, yeah, I found some watercolors up there. Wow, $43, okay. Um, there's an eight, wow. Those are probably some good watercolors then. I don't need anything that fancy though, but this is so pretty here, all the colors. Now, I really do like watercoloring and I've been wanting to find like a good one because the one I had from Walmart was like, it wasn't very good. So I'm going to get one of these. They're actually, these aren't that bad. They're like $11, comes with like 24 colors. Like this one's really pretty too. This one's like a pearlescent watercolor. So now I don't know which one to get. Okay, hello everybody. So I am back from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to be doing a quick haul, but from the video, you guys probably already know what I got. So I'm just going to get this out of the way and we're going to get started. And I got other things besides stationary items. So yeah. Okay, so I got these cool pens. I wanted to start doing more besides just journaling more. I wanted to start doing more art. So more like painting and things like that. So I've been wanting to get these markers and I got the like thinnest one i got the 003 or the 0.15 mm size um so these are perfect so i'm glad i found these um i wanted to say how much i think these were like two something oh it says right here these were 249 i don't think i'll go through all the prices you guys i mean it says it on the packaging anyways and some of them were 50 percent off so i got these so i can't wait to start using those now the next thing i got were this i'm obsessed with like gems and bling things so i got this one this one's super cool it's super different it gives me kind of like vintage vibes at the same time i don't know i feel like this would look really pretty on something vintage 
like if i have this and maybe adding one of these gems i feel like it would add something really cute and really fun to the the piece so i got this and it has like some of these gems here and then this like it's really pretty oh let me just open this up so you guys can see so this is what it looks like and it's so so pretty like this will look so nice like i just showed you like i don't know maybe not this one this isn't the best picture but maybe on something like this i don't know but i can and there's like so many like you get this huge roll and this was 1.99 it was actually cheaper than i thought like this looks like it would be maybe at least five dollars next thing i got was this from the fabric section and this comes like individual so you cut each of these pieces and i love fabrics like this or ribbons and lace pieces so this is so fun to add to a piece as well like i'm gonna get this example again and maybe putting this little flower piece on top oh you guys can't see but maybe putting like a little flower piece like this on the top and it just kind of puts it all together like that's actually really pretty but yeah that's what you can do and i love these little things because you get a lot and so and it's all like just in this roll and it's really really cool and really fun so i'm glad i found that next thing i got were these stickers these are so cute i love these these are so pretty i got some farmhouse stationery from the dollar store um but these are so pretty i love these i want to do an animal themed spread soon so i thought this would look so pretty because they also look very vintage so i love these little stickers they are so cute and this one was the paper studio brand and the paper studio was all 50 percent off so all the stickers papers gems all that the next thing was another paper studio i bought this before but i already used like half of the stickers and i wanted to get another one and this was the only one left so this was three dollars so it's so pretty i love vintage stickers and too bad hobby lobby doesn't really have a lot of kawaii stationery they have a lot of vintage stuff but i couldn't really find anything kawaii but this is super pretty i'm glad i found another one um i got some papers too i got new papers and then i got like some i got before because i really like them but this one's super pretty i love this i'm trying to do a new journal cover because i bought a journal recently and i'm going to be doing a video on that soon but i wanted to change the cover of it because i didn't really like it um but this i thought would look super pretty on it but this is so pretty i love the edge of it it's very like i know i love it it's so pretty and i got this new one this was in the fall section of the papers but i really think that's super pretty like for layering and i got these papers before but i have this musical note one and these like postage stamps or like travel um paper or travel like just images just like it says road trip so yeah i take a lot of vacations with my um family a year so i thought that that would be a really cool spread and like fun to incorporate in there next we're almost done by the way this wasn't a huge haul next was this watercolor so i was saying that i wanted to do new things like more artwork so i wanted to get watercolors i love watercoloring but the one i had wasn't very good and it was all like almost all gone so i wanted to get a new um set and i wanted to get sorry guys but i had to stop the video because i ran out of storage but what i was saying was that i wanted to get some new watercolors and i thought that these were super pretty and i just wanted to get a better quality one and i thought that this would be perfect so i'm super super excited to use this and i'm gonna be doing more videos like this so i'm excited about that so the last thing that i got this isn't really stationary but i got some beads because i love making jewelry i love making bracelets and rings so i don't know if i'll make videos like that if you guys want to see how i make like um rings with beads and stuff then let me know in the comments down below i would love to show you guys but i got these these are super super pretty so i'm super excited to make um some bracelets with this and you'll probably see them in my next video probably so that is everything that I got for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed shopping with me at Hobby Lobby. I had a lot of fun and I think that whenever I go shopping for stationery, I'm going to bring you guys along with me. I thought that it was a really fun idea um, and I've seen these on I've, I've seen some of these videos on YouTube and I loved it. So I was like, oh, I want to do the same thing. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all the things that I got and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.